Hey yeah, guys, I'm back with another video. The beater is right there. Hmm. He's just chilling, laying there. He, this one just woke up. And I have the heat lamp right there and the water stuff. Sunny keeps on trying to get into it. So, I'm going to have to put something over it. Got some wiring cage that I do have. But, like, would the heat lamp, like, burn that? That's why I don't want to do is just... I fed it four worms two days ago. So, I have to feed it today. And it is dark outside. Very early outside, basically. That's where it used to be in when I was taking it home. It's in here now. You could, last video, it was different, but now I changed it up. I feel like putting another box turtle in here, looking for one. These are so cute. They're so cute. Like and subscribe. For this baby turtle. So cute. But yeah. If I have any problems wrong with this setup, if I need like a heat rock, I feed these turtle worms. So, and it eats them. It's perfectly fine. I know you can feed them beetles, but I wouldn't, I just wouldn't. Beetles, but there's that in my setup. I put like this like little limb in there to look like a tree. So I have a plant in there and a plant over there just covered by a leaf. Yeah. The heat lamp is like heat. That's where the most warm is. But it's right over here. Sunny is right there. She's more into the light. There's Sunny. Sunny is very well interested into the turtle. to keep this row in here all winter until it gets warm outside but I'll probably keep it in here the rest of its life until it grows up I feel like just letting it go when it grows up because I have a turtle named Buddy and I have a few turtles after that Every winter, I have to let go of them. But I could keep it extra. Yep, but I gotta feed it today. I put rocks around the thing. That way the dirt don't fully get in there. It has a little water system or whatever. That way the plants have water too. I mean, my mom is getting a spray bottle today, so it can moist around, make sure it's moist. Because, I mean, I have a heat lamp. I don't know if you really need a heat rock or not. I think that, I mean, you could get a heat rock, but I'll, I mean, I wouldn't. I know you could feed me sort of zoom ed, but I'll have to try that. Whatsoever, this is a wild box turtle. I give it worms because that is the most naturist thing you're going to get to. But there's a setup. These are just buckets that has rocks and extra dirt in it. That way, I need it. Stop it, son. Yeah. So. 
I just have those, and then I have the heel. I feel like, well, let me turn my lights on. Next, why aren't my lights working? Not working. But just a throw enclosure, you know. It's, I mean, I put a few rocks in there. I mean, there's a rock in that corner. And a big stick, like a falling tree. Just buried down in there. Oh, all right. So, guys, I have this right there. And I feel like putting. Well, we have a catfish in here, but I feel like putting the bee turtle in here. Because a long time ago, I had a pool. It was like one of the more key pools. And I'd find bee, like, not bee, bee turtles, but turtles on the road beside us. No, not beside us. In front of our house. And I'd, like, keep them in there. I had three or four, and I had a baby one. Not, it's not like this one. Oh, he's moving. But it was, like, a little bigger, and it was an eastern. And guess what they did with that pool? It wasn't too close to the trash either. We weren't trying to throw it away. We, we didn't have any other room. I mean, we did, but if we put it there... Probably cook them. And then they threw it away. It's just very sad. But this was guy. This cat, one of the teachers at her school, found it. I'm not sure if she said on a road. I think she just found it on a road. I don't think a highway. Because highways, they're super busy. And my rooms are white. But, yeah. Comment down below if I need anything else for this baby turtle. I mean, it looks fine. Just, I mean, if I need plants, I can get that. I mean, these are turtle friendly plants. They're just from outside. Just like if it was out in the wild, just getting its natural materials. This was all from outside of that, the bend now, but that now. I'm trying to make it, like, natural. I'm not trying to make it, like, fully in, like, not in nature, but, mm -hmm. That's my first time seeing one of these. Tell me what type of baby boxer it is. I'll zoom in on it for you to get a closer look. What type of boxer was that? I think it is a three-toed or a eastern. Those are my two guesses. But I do have two easterns of my own. One of them I'm probably going to let go next year. It's healing up now. It has a deformed shell, and I really don't like seeing that, but it's healed now, and it's a girl, too. So, I mean, I mean, I have plenty. I mean, I have six water turtles. Make that seven, because I'm going to get one. It's going to go in that tank. I have to layer the sand out for it. You guys probably know. I gotta layer the sand at the bottom. Get all of that. Yeah, if you guys aren't a true subscriber, try to guess what I'm getting down in the comments. Okay, have I guessed it? It's a soft shell turtle. Yeah, I mean, I'll probably get it as a baby or a medium size, because I don't like them. I know they get massive, though. 
and I'll have to like release it or whatever. Cause there is a pond down there that I try to catch them, and they're huge. So like and subscribe, guys, and goodbye.